Hello YouTubers, I uh, just thought I'd make a video on how to uh, get the batteries out of the pack, um, then test them and see if they're any good to use in the uh, packs for the power. So first of all, I'll just quickly um, open up the pack. I'll just do it on fast speed, you don't want to see how it is. Basically, it's just a wrestle. Every pack's different, so um, if you get a lot the same, obviously it makes it a bit easier. Um, usually all the battery packs I got are a little bit different, so you just got to find a way to open them up the best you can. Uh, be careful that you don't uh, short any of them out as you open them up. Uh, once you've managed to get the batteries out of the pack, as you can see it's a bit of a wrestle sometimes, then what you need to do is just test them, see what voltage they've actually got. Put that on there, and let's see what we got. 3.8 is good. 3.8, 3.8. That's all good, this one. Basically, anything that's over about three volts, usually I stick in a good pile. Uh, anything less than that, um, I can charge them up a bit because the the charger testers uh, they won't accept them unless they're above three volts. So, uh, so you really need to put a bit of power into them first. Now that's the box it comes in. Uh, I'll put a link below of where I got it on uh, it, uh, eBay. Now just run through how to uh, set up your charger. There's a little button there you can push. You got you hold it in. You can just charge it either at uh, one amp or half an amp. If you hold the button down. Then it goes to capacity check. So you can either check the capacity at half an amp or one amp. So and then the batteries start to slide in this one amp. And it just starts charging first. This one's pretty full anyway. And if you put them in the front, all it does is nothing. So it doesn't blow them up or anything. What I normally do is put the riding up so that when I ride on them with a texture that you've got nice clean surfaces on your battery pack so the riding is actually on the inside of the battery. So if you turn them around, like you can they're stacked but all the writing is actually on the inside, so you've got a nice clean surface later on. So what will happen, it'll charge the battery fully to, say, 4.22 volts, which it is just about now anyway. And then it should beep. And then it'll discharge it. And it'll test it on its discharge at 1 amp of how many, how many milliamps it, it it actually holds and then it will recharge it again back up to your 4.22 volts or 4.21 volts depending on the battery um, this whole cycle takes uh, about 10 hours 10 to 10 to 11 hours so it's quite long so I do usually change them in the morning and then uh, change them again in the evening so but I've got uh, four seven well, nearly seven charges, so I can do quite a few batteries at once. We bet 20 something. And here's the batteries when they're completed their cycle. And so we've got two, four point two one volts, um, and they're 2,220 milliamps to 2,301 milliamps. Um, some over here, 
this one he's only got 17 154 milliamps so it's too low oh, look at these ones there's 19 and still quite hasn't finished fully charging yet 1872 milliamps so another 17 basically anything above 1900 is okay um, anything below that I'll put in the uh, in the ones below 1900s and anything below about 15 I'll just put in a different container they're still good for um, other projects like I've got uh, my daughter's little car and I've made battery packs out of the old batteries from about 1500 to 1900 amp hour they're still alright for that sort of stuff uh, and the good ones I just put in the pile here and that's where the that's where I make the, the battery packs out of so once they're fully uh, tested then it's always a good idea just to write down uh, what they had on them when they were fully tested and just makes it easy to keep a track on what you've got reason that slot there is empty because I found that one that one wasn't working um, I contacted them on eBay and actually they sent me a whole new charger but the three other ones still work so that was good and just a few things that I thought I'd mention um, the digital chargers they do make a quite a loud beeping noise every time they get to a cycle so probably a good idea to have them in the shed, not in the house. Um, and they beep, like basically they beep when they're charged, they beep when they're about to discharge, and then they beep again when they finished. So it's quite a lot of beeping. Um, and it's quite loud. Another thing I didn't mention also is that you can have them in different stages. You don't have to have all the batteries in at the same stage. Um, they will charge. If you've got some fully charged or some less charged, they will, they'll all work independently. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, catch you on the next one. Oh, Sarah, you want to say hello, didn't you? Come here. Say hello. Hi. Okay, say bye. Bye. Wave.